know me at all, you know I'm cycling around the world. I'm riding something truly unique. It's called a recumbent trike, made in Germany. The brand itself is HP Velotechnik. Probably one of the best trike brands that you can find in, in the entire world. And when I built it, I went to Germany to build it. While I was at the factory though, I was asking where some of the components for my trike were made. Where the raw materials were born. I am in uh, Taiwan right now, in a city called Taoyuan. I'm about to get in a taxi and ride to a factory called Pacific Cycles. It's apparently sort of a guru factory for making uh, highly specialized components for bicycles and trikes and all sorts of uh, cycles all over the world. So uh, I was able to set up a meeting with them uh, talk with them and uh, they've invited me to come and take a look so that's what I'm doing today visiting this factory was sort of on my bucket list not exactly like the bucket list like climbing Everest bucket list but it was on my mission uh, list I'm not sure how much they can tell me though because I know that there's so, like the, like a privacy contract between HP and the companies that make the components, but it'll be interesting to see what they reveal and what they offer. They've already warned me that there's some things that I cannot record, there's some things that are proprietary that I can't point the camera at. So it was my dream to come here and ride here on the trike, arrive at the place that produced some of the components from my trike, riding the tiger duck. I mean, it was just a beautiful thing. The trick here is that just up the road, just up to that light, I rode past about four days ago on the trike. I didn't realize where this place was located until I got to Tai Chung, and then I, I found them, and they said, this is our address, <laughs> and I'm here coming in a taxi. Sort of frustrating. Let's go to the museum. Okay, first. okay. And, uh, we have a symphony line in the museum here. Okay. And uh, for the earlier stage, like a uh, uh, treatment, welding, and the CNC stuff, uh, we have to walk another 150 meters. Okay. Yeah, you guys do the stuff that nobody nobody yeah. can do or nobody wants to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So do you make the carbon fiber stuff here in house? No, or do you we we, oh, we outsource the carbon fiber stuff. We also stuff. What is this thing? The unicycle with the badass motor? Look at the width of that tire. Inside the you know, it's a GT wheel. This is a, don't have a seat, you just pedal up and okay, down. Okay, okay. Yeah, it has an oval shape, uh, uh, chain ring. And these are really uh, popular in the European market. Yeah, yeah, now. this is very cool. Put the kids in the front. This is a, like a... Another pedal bike. Yeah. But you yeah. pedal it like a yeah. like a workout machine almost, like yeah. an elliptical. And then I know about these guys. Yeah. Gecko, well, you can do some ice stuff. So, uh, since you are familiar with yeah. the tribe, uh, I think most of, uh, you know, three out of four brands, you know, brands like uh, all made from here. What do you produce here of these? The frame, yeah. uh, the yeah. front boom, everything yeah. that's actual skeleton, right? Yeah. Ice adds the gearing and this. Yeah. Do you do the seat frame as well? Yeah. Uh, I think all frame stuff, uh, seat, uh, except for the component. Wow, some of this stuff is really incredible. I did not realize that so much of uh, the yeah. bikes that are in my, my genre are made from here. Very cool. A row bike? 
No, <laughs> this is for fitness. It's yeah, yeah, rowing, rowing, rowing. 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 That's, that's cool. <laughs> you, this one never sold, huh? Yeah. Oh wow! So, I mean, how much, how much money did you have to invest in producing the prototype? Must have been crazy. There's a lot of time invested in this design. That's like <laughs> yeah, and uh, the result is disappointing. You know? well, yeah, yeah. You learn what not to do. You know. Yeah, and like this, uh, sidecar. <laughs> sidecar. Uh, a track for a landmine area. Really? Yeah. So you'd ride this over like um, over a mine. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because actually, this has, has a big plate underneath. Oh. But you don't have that, but it's too heavy. Okay. It's okay. Like metal things. Wow. And uh, you use your butt to to steer. Okay, okay. So this rotates. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I can see. Yeah. And that's These are right pontoons, the bike pontoons. Yeah. <laughs> it's small. Uh-huh. So small, but uh, the speed is actually exactly quite fast. Yeah. It's yeah. like a standard 26. Yeah. But there's not a lot of shock absorption, right? I mean, like uh, you're feeling everything. Commuting to work, I think, most of you know, you can work, and uh, but you have to have a flat surface. Yeah. Like you, if you like, you're living in Barcelona or Rome. Yeah. With a brick road, that will be a pain. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No cobblestone. But you don't ride on a cobblestone. Yeah. So, uh, major, you can try this. Or okay. I can take it. That's uh, as high as it can go. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm sitting up right and try. Okay. Oh wow. It's much easier to ride than I thought. <laughs> that is a very interesting yeah, very interesting. Yeah. That little rear tire does a lot of work. Should I ride this around the world maybe? <laughs> City riding, yeah, very good. I don't know if this would do too well on the gravel, gravel road. <laughs> How small does this fold up? Okay, I'll show you. Yeah, show me. It, will, it just looks like this. Yeah, it's just a stick. Smaller than a mm -hmm. golf bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the good thing is that it has a trolling wheel. You okay. Roll it, you know, push. Is there a way you could throw it over your shoulder like a backpack? Oh, sure. Rides nice. Because uh, some of our people move to the other factory for assembly. Later okay. we are going to assemble this. Okay. So this will be. Let's put it here. Yeah, these are. The these just came from coating, right? From yeah, painting. Painting. So it's a substance assembly thing. Here, this is the, like a, like an actual automotive style assembly line where it yeah. comes on down. You're adding components, 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 components. Okay. He's putting the wheel together. Yeah. Spoken. You just prepare the wheel. Okay. This, you set it up. Set it up. Uh huh. And uh, you don't have to tighten everything and uh, go through this. The tire will roll through this channel. Yeah. And the machine will have a clamp to tighten everything. This is uh, for the hand, hand track, uh, hand cycle. Hand, hand, hand bike, this, yeah. This is, uh, you know, for the foot, foot rest. And these are for, you know, the, the crutches. Uh, you have a three-wheel recumbent or two-wheel? I have a Scorpion FS, oh. yeah. so fully suspended. Oh. And I wanted to ride it here, but like I said, I, oh, I'm okay. in tight. So they have like two factory facilities. We're going to the newer one, right? Uh, old or this the is the older one? Older one, but with the new facility. With the new facilities. Yeah. We're not going to be able to see any of the HP stuff being made because they provide short runs of stuff, so HP will say we need a thousand frames, or we need, you know, X, Y, and Z, or whatever, right? They do short runs, and so uh, Pacific Cycle completes them, sends them off, and then they wait for the next order to come through. So it's not like they're consistently making. Actually, it'll be interesting to see what what they've got under production right now, and we yeah. can take a look. Just an ordinary day for Pacific. So. Yeah. So these are ovens. 
storm here. Cool them down. So these were pulled out of the oven and now they're in the cool down process. And these are chemical treating, right? Yeah, yeah. Just treat them Are these different grades? Like this is very strong, a little weak, a little stronger, a little weak. It's important to get every stitch of foreign material off the metal before you coat it or you weld it or you try to put things together. So these vats are just scouring the metal, making it super clean. There are different jigs for every sort of spike and trike that they make here. Yeah. There's probably a jig for HP, there's a jig for ice, there's jigs for all the different frame components that they make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But each one of these is designed to do a specific part for a specific bike. 3D tube uh, bending. You can bend okay. with three dimensional. This area here is mostly for manual, hands on stuff. Uh, they have another area here that's like more computerized. They got a lathe here, they got a bunch of CNC machines. Is this a 3, a 4D, yeah. a 4D CNC? The cool thing about this machine is that not only does it come down and move this way and this way, but it can also do this, right? This whole jig is literally can rotate as well. So you get all the dimensions that you can cut. So you can go all the way around this part. This is an interesting machine. For those of you that don't know, I've worked in factories in Detroit and places all over the world. I've seen a lot of these, these sorts of machines. A lot of fun. Okay, here you go. It's a frame with a slot that the battery. Yeah. Still in a piece of battery. Oh, so the battery would go here. This is like the center mount or yeah. of a frame? Yes, yeah. I think that's the down frame. There's an ice jig, that's neat. Uh, ice. Ice. Air -nimal. Are you an air -nimal? <laughs> uh, Pacific, there's one of yours. Is it car RMM? Top. Andy, Canfield, Pacific. Is there a reach? There's one of your reach ones. Okay. It's around. Just your it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real quick, HP. <laughs> <laughs> My chicken there. The scorpion. The tiger duck was born on that, on one of those. So these have come out of the oven. What are you going to do with these next? You're going to put them in the chemical bath or go uh, to the painting section? Painting. Out. No, no, we do a lemon in every day. Right, 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 right. You guys have heard me say this before. I love factories. I love watching things be made. It's, it's so cool. Yeah, so this was the part we just saw, right? Uh, yeah. We saw this earlier. Yeah. And so they've mounted it, mounted the, the front bar, yeah. and they're putting it together with the frame. Right. And then this is one of the finished, right? So it's, yeah. so it's spot, spot weld here. Just a quick tack to hold it in place. Everybody here is kind of working on different projects at different phases, at different stages in their production. So it's kind of interesting to watch. What are they doing here? These are matted right now, but yeah. they'll go through in gloss coat, right? Yeah. Later. Yeah. But some of these frames, like these ones, these are going on this assembly line, they're going into the painting area. And they're gonna be, some of it is gonna be matted and some of it is gonna be gloss. It's gonna be that sort of two-tone kind of thing. So all of these areas that are taped off are gonna stay the matted as they go through the whole assembly line. These these areas that are exposed will be, will be glossed up. I think they've done this a couple of times. Yeah. Maybe once or twice. 
So here you can see the two tones. And then here's the finished product that we saw. This is kind of neat because we saw the raw material and we saw it through the whole process. So here will be the battery, right? The battery. Thank you so much. This is very neat. I was able to like see how a bike was made from start to finish, painting, coating, treating, welding, jigging, grinding, uh, powder painting, factory powder, powder coating. Yeah. That's right here. Most factories aren't running every section all the time, every day, 24 hours a day. You know, they're doing certain orders in certain sections and. Today, we were able to peek in on them as they were producing, really, we really saw this bike start and finish pretty much. Just saw the processes involved. I love the look of raw aluminum. It's so beautiful. So, how many cyclists stop here on their way around Taiwan? Is this like a, a very popular place to stop and have a coffee? Of course, because uh, the harbor is a very popular place. For summer, so we just people come by. A lot of people's bikes were born here. Yeah. I was sitting down to edit my videos, and look have who walked you, in. Have you seen our museum? Yeah, I just saw your whole museum. I heard your whole story. You know, your company made uh, made part of my trike. It's uh, it's an honor to meet what, you. What, what the what the trike you? Scorpion FS. Scorpion is uh, HP Velotechnic. HP. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was cool, huh? It was funny, I was sitting at the table at the coffee shop and in walks this, uh, this older gentleman inspecting some plants before uh, walking through the door and I thought, I think that's the old owner of Pacific Cycles. It turned out to be true. I said, are you George? He's like, yep, that's what people call me. He talked about the history of Pacific Cycles. He talked about, you know, some, some political stuff. It was a fun conversation to cap off a visit to, uh, a place that I had been looking forward to visit for a very long time. So we are headed back now to uh, Taichung and I feel I have accomplished a very specific goal that I've been wanting to do for a long time and I hope I was able to share it with you guys. They produce a lot of stuff there. A lot more brands, a lot more styles than I uh, even supposed that they produced. So it was, it was very eye-opening. If you guys like this video, please uh, hit the subscribe button, like, share it with your buddies. I think this is a very fun, shareable video that a lot of people that ride would be interested in, especially people that ride some bikes that are made there. So take it easy, uh, hit the no notification bell below, and I will talk to you guys later. See you tomorrow. Next time on the Jayo Vlog. Southern Korea. I ran into a group of cyclists. They were riding trikes just like me. The brand was called Performer. They're made right up the street. Would you, could you make a custom trike as well? Sure. Holy moly. Well, each one of these has to be made special, right? Oh, actually, it's custom made. Titanium.